very much and good morning to all the participants who have joined with us today in this morning uh, for the international webinar on Japanese enterprises and society, its past, present and future, which has been organized by the Department of Business Administration of Gita Jeevan Arts and Science College, Tutukudi, Tamil Nadu State in India. So today we have Professor Ayavu Kato, uh, Senior Professor in the Faculty of Economics and Business, Wako University, Tokyo, Japan, who have joined with us amidst all this business schedule. So before getting into the program, I request our beloved principal ma'am, Dr. S. Malarkodi ma'am, to kindly do the welcome address. Over to Dr. S. Malarkodi ma'am. Good morning to all of you. Respected Secretary of our Gita Jeevan Arts and Science College, Mr. Jeevan Jacob, sir. Esteemed Chief Guest of today's session. That is Professor Ivo Keto, my PhD professor of uh, professor in the field of uh, economics and business, Waco University, and uh, other professors from who are joining along with us in uh, uh, from Japan, and uh, professors from Malaysia, and other uh, professors who are joining with us from our own college, Gita Jivan Arts and Science College, and the professors from various other colleges, participants, research scholars, and students, and uh, Mr. Dilipan Kumar of HOD and the program organizer of this uh, uh, thing. That means the and the head uh, of uh, business administration and other professors from Moran College. A uh, pleasant morning to all of you. Today we are actually participating in this international webinar on Japanese enterprises and the society, its past, present, and future. All of us are um, uh, known. That means it is a well-known fact that Japanese enterprises are the uh, very much. That means uh, Japanese enterprises are the entire. Uh, is, uh, uh, that means that is an inspiration for the whole industrial world. And that means yeah, almost all the countries. And once we have the products uh, only from Japan, for example, Sony, Sanyo, and uh, Honda, uh, Toyota, and all the other things, all the um, uh, famous companies and the uh, very reputed concerns uh, have supplied uh, goods uh, uh, to the entire world. Now only we have, uh, uh, that means all these uh, prices have uh, some collaborations with all the other countries, etc. But uh, formerly they are the for, uh, forerunners for all the many of the products. That means uh, even from uh, starting from TV, uh, music system, air conditioners, washing machine, and other innovative products. Even nowadays that uh, a bullet train which is introduced by Japanese and prices are the very uh, famous and it is a notable thing. That means uh, it is a set, it's set an example for all the countries. And so we are well known about those Japanese enterprises and they are the people who are well known for the time management. Actually, today we have started this program 10 minutes later, but they are very much particular in maintaining the time. Uh, time. Uh, so very, um, so, uh, so uh, now, uh, nowadays, uh, almost all the countries are uh, meeting that uh, economic slowdown. That, that means, uh, so that means even uh, all of the countries. So in the Japanese uh, parties, the position, uh, due to this uh, pandemic, that means uh, pandemic situation, and uh, what was the uh, um, uh, past uh, history and the past uh, development developments in the Japanese enterprises, and what's the present condition, and what uh, what will be that uh, uh, future uh, condition? That means uh, that means how they are going to have a more more development in these uh, in enterprises for all these things. We are eagerly to know these things. So, so Professor uh, Ivo Kato is along with us. And he is uh, having a busy schedule. In spite of his uh, busy schedule, uh, he has accepted to deliver a lecture on this topic. That means uh, giant, um, Japanese enterprises and society, its past, present, and future. So I express my warm welcome on behalf of Gita Jeevan Arts and Science College management professor and student. We express a warm welcome to your professors. Uh, welcome you, sir. And I also express um, a warm welcome to the professor, uh, professors who are joining with us from Japanese in a, uh, from Japan, uh, Professor Fumingto is along with us, and some of the professors uh, from all the other some various other countries also joined with us. So, a warm welcome to all of them, and I also welcome our uh, secretary, Mr. Jeevan Jacob sir, and I uh, welcome Mr. Dilipan, Professor Dilipan Kumar sir. That means he is the uh, HOD of Business Administration of Gita Jeevan Arts and Science College, and he is the program organizer. So without his uh, help, we could not have arranged this uh, program. So a warm welcome to uh, you, sir. And I also welcome the professors who are uh, in the business administration, that means who are the organizers, Mrs. Dhanleshmi and uh, Mrs. Soganya of uh, Gita Jeevan Arts and Science College, all the HODs, and all the other professors from various colleges. They are the, they are the um, <clears throat> um, uh, inspirators uh, to us to conduct such a seminar. And I also welcome all the students. So once again, I um, express my warm welcome to all the participants to this uh, seminar on the international webinar on Japanese enterprises and societies past, present, and future. 
once again a warm welcome thank you thank you uh, for the nice welcome to us and uh, the, it is my profound duty to introduce the resource person professor ivo kato to the august audience today professor ivo kato holds an ba and ma in economics and phd in economics from fukuoka university she hold, he holds a about uh, 20, uh, 30 plus years of uh, experience in teaching research and administration he has received a silver medal in an rnd expo to, to 2012 poster session in university of malaysia sarawak malaysia and another silver medal in inter international invention in innovation and technology from kuala lumpur and malaysia so when i was going with the uh, cv of uh, professor uh, kato i found that he has received many fellowship and grants he has received a sabbatical research grant in year 2017 from bako university also a research grant 2016 from institute of japan milk association and a grant for project in year 2015 from the japan foundation asia center and one more grant in the year 2015 as a research grant from japan society of lifeology he has also received a grant for publication in the year 2014 from bako university He has, he has received a research fund in the year 2013 from Vaco Institute of Social and Cultural Sciences, and in the year 2012, same from Vaco Institute of Social and Cultural Sciences, he received another research fund. He has also received a research promotion fund in the year 2010 from the Promotion and Mutual Aid Corporation of Private Schools of Japan. He has also received a fundamental research grant fund in, from Malaysia in the year 2010, and one more research grant in the year 2009 from the Universe Foundation. so he is very good in doing some collaborative research it seems because he has continuously has associated with many of the associations and universities and centers of excellence in doing with their research in doing with this research so that much of grants and fellowship is what he has uh, received and he have a quite number of uh, scopus and web of science industry journals putting in a nutshell he, uh, he has 69 papers which have been published 14 research notes and 8 books and 51 presentations such a great man with the simplicity and humbleness again i can say even at this uh, uh, digitalization has played a vital role still he don't use whatsapp at all he don't have a whatsapp so that is what the best part of professor kato but whenever you approach him uh, we need to approach him through email he will be giving us 10 to 5, uh, 10 to 12 dates um, so he is available on those dates so that much of uh, uh a uh, uh, packed high packed uh, uh, professor is what professor kato is so that uh, he is continuously he was into research and uh, academics part of the university so that much of interest uh, he holds uh, in terms of academics so it is indeed a great privilege for geeta ji and arts and science college and that too from the department of business administration to uh, have you uh, here amidst us professor kato probably uh, during the time of pandemic we can't able to fly over but today you have flown all the way from japan to india through this zoom platform so we are happy to see you again uh here in this platform uh, professor kato so on behalf of uh, geeta jivan college of uh, arts and sex management principal professors and on behalf of participants i welcome you again professor kato so not taking much of the time i request uh, uh, professor kato to take over the session over to professor kato well uh, uh, thank you very much for your um welcome speech but honestly speaking honestly speaking you are welcome speech made me feel nervous <laughs> you see well um kalei banakan is it correct empayar kato nan unkaretan inrunan makiru chaka iruki rin well um i am kato professor kato of bako university i'm teaching international economics at bako university And today I'm very glad to be here with all of you. Well, thank you very much for your inviting me to special session today. Um before the lecture, I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to all the teaching staff, especially to Professor Dilifan Kumar. Thank you very much. Well, um I hope my pronunciation is acceptable. Is it okay? And uh, now, all of you recognize that I speak um, 
a sort of Japanese English, which is called Japanese. I suppose, I suppose, you might feel difficulty to listen to my Japanese, Japanese English. When you have any trouble to listen to my English, please tell me. Uh, Oh, we can okay. understand, Professor. Not an issue. Okay. Mm. Well, um, today I basically I basically made uh, my presentation for uh, undergraduate undergraduate students. I had that uh, more than one hundred undergraduate students would participate to this meeting. That's why I made the presentation for basically uh, undergraduate students. Okay, and can I can I share my presentation? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Well, here is my presentation. The title, the title, um, today's title is Japanese Enterprises and the Society. It's past, present, uh, it's past, present, and future. Well, today's contents, uh, as far as, I will introduce First, I will introduce the history of Japanese enterprises. Actually, there is a lot of long established companies in Japan. Firstly, I will introduce the history of Japanese enterprises. Second, I will explain, I will tell you about the future of feature of Japanese society. Well, one American society, uh, sociologist says Japanese society is like a tiny box, tiny box. I will explain it later. So far, everyone can follow my English. And third, we will discuss about preparation for future, especially, sorry, sustainability of small and medium-sized enterprises. I will explain it later. Well, I always, I always ask many questions to participant during my um, lecture. I always give many questions to the student. So I'd like to give you many questions today. Well, this is first question. Which Japanese company do you know? Or what kind of Japanese products have you ever used? Uh, anybody try to answer to me? Anybody? Uh, yes, yeah, participants, uh, even you can, uh, uh, whatever the question that Professor is asking to you, even the chat box is open to you. So even oh, okay. uh, you, uh, you can chat over there on the chat box so that uh, Professor Kato can uh, make a note of it. Thank you, Professor. Okay. We got some answers, Suzuki, Pence. Oh, yes. For example, Japanese companies, Toyota, Suzuki, Kamega, Panasonic, Hitachi, Nintendo, Sony, and Shiseido, Kao. Anybody knows about these companies? Shiseido, Kao. These two companies, Japanese companies, produce cosmetics. So female students might have uh, used those products, Shiseido and Kao. And Eon Muji 7-Eleven. These companies are 
um, retailer. Anybody knows? Well, they are big company. They are big and world well known companies. But they are comparatively young companies. Well, this is the second question. Oldest company. Do you know the oldest company in Japan? Have you ever heard about the oldest company in Japan? Anybody? How many years ago do you think the oldest company was established in Japan? Well, please try to answer to me. How many years ago? Um, well, somebody is sending chat message to me, but I can't, <laughs> I can't see. Uh, oh. I, after 1945 is what they have messaged. Okay. Well, um, I will give you answer quickly. Well, all this company in Japan is Kongo Gumi. This company is located in Osaka. Osaka is the third biggest city in Japan, west part of Japan. Well, this company was established in 578. So this company celebrate 1,443 years anniversary this year. See? And what kind of product do they produce? Kongo Gumi is a constructor for temples for Buddhist. This company is constructor for temples and shrines for Shintoism. Shintoism is a Japanese local religion. This company has constructed many temples, many shrines all over Japan. Well, I could tell you all the temples, all the shrines, all of them are constructed by this company. Nowadays, they maintain those old temples and shrines all over Japan. Well, how about the second oldest company here? Yeah. Ikenobo. This company was established in 587. So more than 1,400 years ago, this company was established. This company currently runs school for flower arrangement. Now, even the college, they have the courage to teach flower arrangement. Well, the second oldest company, maybe in the world. Now, manages the schools for flower arrangement. And third one is here. Well, it's wrong name. Nishiyama Onsen Keunkaku. This company was established in 705. Well, Guinness World Record certified as the oldest hotel in the world. This type of hotel is called Onsen in Japanese. Onsen means hot spa hotel, you see? And the fourth, Koman. Well, this is another hot spa hotel established in 717. See? And another one, fifth oldest company, fifth oldest company 
Zengoro. This company was established in 718. Another hot spa hotel. And two more companies. I will introduce two more companies. Sixth oldest company is this. Goido Industry. This company was established also 1,300 uh, years ago. They are producing foundry casting. And this company is now producing this equipment for ships. These equipment for ships. And this company is said, generally said, to have had engaged in the construction of Buddha statue in Todaiji Temple in Nara 1,000 years ago. And seventh, this is the last one. Tanakaiga Butsugu. This company was established in 885. They produce Buddhist altar. Well, in Japan, there are seven companies which were established more than 1,000 years ago. Well, after this lecture, I'd like to ask you about old, old Indian companies. Actually, I believe in the world, uh, only Japan has uh, private companies which were established more than 1,000 years ago. Well, there is one cafe called Ichimonjiya Wasuke in Kyoto. Kyoto is old traditional city in Japan. Well, this cafe offer Japanese traditional sweets. And this cafe was established in uh, 1000. So this cafe was also established more than 1000 years ago, but this is not company. So this cafe is not included to the number of um, long established companies. Well, how about this question? How many Japanese companies do you think have more than 100 years history? Professor Kumar, uh, try to answer to me. Participants, if you have any guess, you can even uh, chat over there in the chat box. Oh, uh, uh, thousand companies. One has answered thousand companies. Well, um, well, just a moment. I will try to look at the chat. <laughs> chat message. Where is the chat message? Maybe here. Okay. Um, some participants. Some participant have already answered to me. Is that correct? Well, I can't, I can't, I can't see a chat message right now. Well, anyway. Uh, probably more than 33,000 business. Uh, okay. Um. Someone has answered 50,000 or oh, 40,000. Yeah. Hmm. Well, this is the answer. 40, 40,000, yes. And this is 
1.5% of Japanese companies. Well, uh, total number, total number of Japanese private companies is around 3.8, 3.8 million. So this number occupies 1.5% of Japanese total companies. You see? And another research result exists. It says around 100,000 Japanese companies, well, including small business shops, cafe, etc., are established more than 100 years ago. Well, another question. How many Japanese companies celebrate 100 years anniversary this year, 2021? Well, I guess some of you are now answering to me. Okay, um, number of companies celebrate 100 years his, uh, anniversary in this year, 3,696 companies, Japanese companies celebrate their 100 years anniversary this year. For example, Mitsubishi Electric Group and Komatsu Telmo and Shimano, those company celebrate their 100 years anniversary in this year. Hmm. Well, um, have you ever heard about, uh, have you ever seen the TV, TV commercial of Mitsubishi Electric Group? Anybody? They have come across with that name concept. Huh? Sorry? No. Oh, my goodness. Oh, chat got kita. Can you still hear me? Everyone can hear me. Oh, yes, good. Why do you think there's so many long established companies in Japan? What is the reason? Everybody, please try to answer to me. Any clue? Technology, yes. Well, a uh, good guess, yes. Technology, flexible, yes. I'd like to concentrate on this point, yes. Flexibility, yes. Customer sat satisfaction, right, good. Well, how about another one? Yeah, hard work, yes. Well, um, I always feel I am almost forced to work hard, yes, by my university, yes. Management team, well, I cannot agree. Management, well, Japanese management, sometimes good, sometimes very bad. Quality in products, yes. Quality control is very important factor, yes. Good leadership team, yes, good. Respecting tra tradition, oh, yes. Hmm. Well, um, <clears throat> today I will um, introduce the story of the box. 
Well, American sociologist once said, Japanese society is like a small box. Do you understand? Japanese society is like a small box, small tiny box. Just imagine here is a small box. Well, in, uh, in front of you, well, this box is Japanese society and uh, Japanese population is um, 126 million, 126 million. At the same time, the landscape here, can you see the world map? Yes, okay. Japanese land, size of Japanese land, well, is, comparatib is comparatively small. India is nine times bigger. India is nine times bigger than Japan. And in Japan, there is a big problem. Actually, 17%, one seven, 17% 17 of Japanese land could be used for residential area. Do you understand? Only 17% of Japanese land could be used for residential area. So if you come to Japan and uh, if you take on the train, you might be very surprised to see so crowded people. Well, everywhere there is a bunch of people. You might be very surprised. And once again, in front of you, there is a box, small box. And that box is Japanese society. Inside the box, there is a lot of people. Well, today I invite two my friends here. I bring my friends, just a moment. Here. Well, uh, Susan and Hannah, well, they are Japanese. Just imagine, me, Susan, and Hannah are living inside the box, just like this. Inside the box, there are packed people. Inside the box, there is a lot of people living together, like this, like this. You see? Uh, can you see my friends? <laughs> Anybody <laughs> answer to me? I, <laughs> I'm, oh, oh, yes, yes, thank you, <laughs> thank you. And uh, inside the box, there are many people living together, you see? Well, just try to imagine you are also inside the box. What do you do inside the box? In the small box, me and my friends inside the box like this, packed. And also you are inside the box. What are you gonna do? You might punch to your friend, get out, get out. Or you might kick to your friends or anybody to get him out from the box. But the, you can't, you can't escape from the box. If so, what are you gonna do? And I tell you, inside books, from inside books, my condition is so bad. My friends, my friends are sitting just beside me and uh, sometimes push my face. Well, under this condition, I feel I feel, oh, I can understand what they are thinking. They are thinking same things, just like me. Well, this box is very small. How should I survive inside box? The answer is to cooperate, 
to cooperate each other inside books. Otherwise, we can't survive inside books. Do you understand what I mean? Japanese society is like a small box. Inside the box, there is a lot of people living together. They have to cooperate each other. Otherwise, they can't survive inside the box. And the company also have to cooperate with people, with local community. Otherwise, they can't survive. Well, Japan is high population density and uh, homogeneous society. Well, um, I feel I can understand what my friend is feeling inside the box. And I know my friend also can understand what I am feeling now inside the box. And this is, well, uh, in telling summary, in Japan or small books, the companies must create the trust and the good relationship with the customer and the stakeholders. Otherwise, they cannot survive in the small community. Well, now it's, uh, let's spray A and B. I'd like to ask all of you to prepare two cards like this. A card. Any paper is okay. Just write down A like this. Can you see the card of A? And another one. Card of B. Any paper is okay, just write down B. So please prepare two cards, A and B. I give you one minute. <clears throat> Please prepare two cards. Yeah. A and B. A and B. Lady, are you ready? Or still 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 have to wait a bit? Anybody? I now can see chat, chat message. Well, chat message is, well, <laughs> fun, convenient. Okay, ready. Oh, is this Dr. Hanim? Maybe. Ready, all right. Oh, yes, Dr. Hanim. <laughs> Thank you very much for your coming. My daughter Hannah miss you a lot. Well, um, let's start, let's begin the game. You and me play card game, which is called AB card game. A and B card game, okay? Everybody has got the two cards, card of B, card of A and card of B. Now I will say one, two, three. Please choose A or B card and show me to the card, okay? At the same time, I will show you A or B card to you. And we are supposed to get points. If you show me 
a card at the same time if i show you a card at the same time okay you can get one point and uh, me also i also get one point but Well, um, another time, if you show me A, at the same time, if I show you B, B, sorry, I can get five, but you can get the nothing. Opposite situation is also happening, you see? If you show me B card, and if I show you A card at the same time to you, you can get five. You see? And uh, one more time. Here. Yeah. Both players, both players show B card at the same time. Two players get zero. Okay, well, and now, 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 <clears throat> let's start. And we play this game five times, five times. You now think about <clears throat> strategy to win, to get the point. We play five times, okay, five times. And I will say one, two, three, and you listen to three, you have to show me the card, okay? You, do, do, do you understand? Everybody do you understand? Basic rule. Well, anyway, okay, try. <clears throat> All right, um, one, two, three. There you go. I now show you a card. If you show me, if you show me your A card, you can get uh, one point. So write down one point on your note. Okay. And next round, next round. I will say one, two, three. So at the same time, uh, two prayers. Well, uh, in this case, you and me. Two players show cars together. You see? One, two, three. There you go. Okay. Uh, Dr. Sanders Warren. Is that correct? <laughs> Sorry, my bad pronunciation. Sorry. B. Okay, and um, you get to zero, and I also get zero. B and B, both players get to zero, okay? Write down zero point on your nail, note. And third round, third round, third round. One, two, three, here we go. Okay. Both players show each other A. Well, uh, you can get the one point. I also get the one point. <clears throat> Both round. Ready? One, two, three. Here we go. B. Okay. Well, uh, write down your point on your note. And, uh, <clears throat> oh yes, B, yeah? Mm. And last round, last. This is last round. Think about strategy again. Okay. One, two, three, here we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sandra, what a one, doctor. 
you get five point. <laughs> Good. <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> how much point did you get from this game? Anybody? Anybody? Oh, six. Okay, good. Seven. Six. Uh, anybody? Anybody can get uh, ten points? Ten. More than ten. Did anybody get uh, ten points? More than ten? No? Hmm. Well, I simply, I simply ask you, I simply want to ask you, what strategy is suitable to get point from this game? How should I create a strategy to win this game? Probability, mm, probability, mm. anyone? Anybody? Well, um, now try to imagine you play this game every day for a long, long time. Maybe 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. Hypothesis, oh yes. Mm. But try to imagine we all together are playing this game every day with many people. Mm. For 10 years, 20 years, maybe 30 years. Yes, experience is very important. From experience, what do you think you will run from your experience. And you are now inside the box. You are now inside the box. And you play this game every day for a long time. How should I pray to get this game to get point? Uh, experience with hard work. Mm. Well, <clears throat> strategy is very simple. Strategy is very simple to win. New strategies. Uh, what kind of strategy? New strategy. Mm. <laughs> Authenticity, okay. Mm. Well, <clears throat> now all of you know about me and I now know all of you. Well, even on the website, I know you and you know me, if so, we can discuss, we can cooperate to win this game, to get the points for a long period. Do you understand? Imagine to play this game for long, long time. Every day you play this game. If I am under this uh, circumstance, I will show you always A. I always show you A inside box. Do you understand? And I wish you will show me card A all the time. I 
really wish. I really wish you show me a card only all the time. If you show me, thank you very much, doctor. <laughs> thank you. Well, if you show me a card, I show you a card all the time. If we continue to show a card only all the time, we can get one point every time. Total of total of point will be huge size for a long time. Well, everybody, uh, Dr. Hanim, not the AB, AB, AB. <laughs> well, here is another question. Here we go. What does A and B indicate means? Actually, A means cooperation, and B is betrayal, cheating. Well, in our society, in our real society, if you cheat me, if you could, if you could cheat me, you can get more point. You can get more, uh, something more. Mm. Oh, thank you very much, um, Prof. Bala. Well, um, <clears throat> what, what, what did I say? Oh, yes. In our real world, if you cheat me, if you cheat somebody, if you cheat somebody, you can get a big point at one time, at one time. But relationship with somebody is continued for a long time. So, see? Even if you could get one point and a big point at one at one time, next time nobody, nobody could treat you, nobody could pray with you. Um, if you cheat, if you cheat somebody inside the box, you will lose your uh, business partner your stakeholders. So Japanese companies in Japanese society or Japanese company in the small tiny box always try to cooperate with local community. They never cheat the customers, stakeholders. That's why they could survive for a long time. Well, in other words, otherwise they cannot uh, survive inside the books. Well, this is a key of long established companies. One, trust and good relation with customers. Long established companies must have trust from customer and uh, they keep good relation with customer. So they concentrate on quality control and corporate social responsibility, especially Toyota quality control, E.ON corporate social responsibility. Well, um, I have many examples, but uh, I do not have time this time. <clears throat> Well, um, next factor is this. Long established, long established enterprises must uh, have friendly management uh, skill for employees. Company must support employees. Do you know 7-Eleven, Japanese convenient, uh, convenient store, convenience store? Nowadays, 7-Eleven have kindergarten just beside their shop for children of employees. 
So every morning, female workers, female workers can come to the shop with uh, her children. The kindergarten uh, managed by 7-Eleven but take care of children of employees. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> and the third one, this one, flexibility. Long established companies must have flexibility to respond to the changing time. Well, they boldly could change core business, even the core business. I can give you one example. Fuji Film. Have you ever heard about this company, Fuji Film? Previously, this company produced Camera Film. And this company was the second biggest camera film producer. Number one was Kodak. But Kodak was already bankrupt several years ago. But Fuji Film uh, is still good business, but their core business has already been changed, completely changed. They now produce cosmetics and medicine for the customers. And uh, this company is still a um, huge size, big company and uh, a world well known company. Once again, their core business has been completely changed. Even so, they could survive. Okay, um, Professor Dilifang Kumar, how many more minutes do I have? 10, five? May I continue a bit? All right, I will continue. Um, who is the richest person in Japan? He is CEO of one company. I will um, give the answer quickly. Here, he is. He is the richest man in Japan. His name is Yanai Tadashi. He is founder and also he is CEO of Uniqlo. I suppose Uniqlo has uh, several uh, branches in India. Well, his asset is over 14 billion US dollar. Well, he is very rich. Actually, I met him once um, by chance, coincidentally. Uh, it was four years ago. Four years ago, I was drinking a cup of coffee at the cafe in uh, city center of Tokyo. Well, it was a um, standard cafe. When I was drinking a cup of coffee, suddenly he, Mr. Yanai, richest man in Japan, and his secretary, female secretary, came into the cafe. And he uh, ordered coffee, a cup of coffee by himself, and he paid by himself, and he came to the next table to me. I realized Oh, Mr. Yanai is here. So I tried to, um, well, I spoke to him and we enjoyed chatting, talking. The richest man in Japan, Mr. Yanai, come to cafe with one secretary, no bodyguard. And he looks like an ordinary person just ordinary person. Nobody, nobody could recognize. That is Mr. Yanai, richest person in Japan. But I realized and I enjoyed uh, chatting. Hmm. 
Who is the richest person in India? He might be CEO of big company. Is that right? Hmm. Who is the richest person in India? He comes. Oh, yes, Tata. Uh, right. Hmm, I see. Well, richest person in India. About their daily life. Hmm. But I can imagine, I can imagine his daily life. Daily life of Mr. Yanai. Oh. Well, second richest person is here, Mr. Son. His company is SoftBank. His company is producing, well, um, you can see mobile phone and internet provider. Third one is here, Takizaki. Well, he didn't graduate from university anyway. After he graduated from high school, he uh, created, uh, he established several companies and success. His company is now producing the sensor and the non touchy 3D scanner. And the fourth one is here, Mikitani. His company is Lakuten. Lakuten is e-commerce company running website shopping mall. Okay, and another one. Fifth richest man in Japan. His company is producing diapers. These five, these five gentlemen, these five gentlemen are founder of their own companies. And their companies are comparatively young. Time. Very quickly, yeah, okay. Can I spend more time? Yeah, Professor, go ahead. Okay. Well, um, if you bought a stock of their company, top two, if you bought one stock of fast retailing corporation that is Uniqlo in 2007, the price was uh, 61, 61.8 US dollar. But today, well, in this morning, I checked the, uh, the value of the stock. Its value became 842.8 US dollar. So 12 times bigger. And another one, second richest man's company, Yahoo Japan. Well, SoftBank is a mother company of Yahoo Japan. Anyway, if you bought this company's stock in 1997, the price was 15,400 US dollars. But today its body became uh, five, uh, no, five million, five million US dollar. Quite money. The five richest men experience indicated in Japan, even the comparatively young enterprises could possibly grow their business if they follow the market principle for long established companies. The rule for the success in Japan is simple and clear. No, uh, we skip. But uh, enterprises, enterprises mainly small and medium-sized enterprises with flexibility to survive in a long history have potential for
for success and will support Japan's future economy. But considering or studying on sustainability of enterprises all over the world is important action to prepare for the future society, especially for young researchers, young students. Well, this is end of my story today. Thank you very much. Thank you for the to the future, how uh, the campaign's component was developed, and what is the, the best practices, what they are doing, and really we enjoyed this in the game. Probably we can also implement in the institution, I hope so, because every academic team will uh, have a question as well as better again. Okay? So whenever we have this in the game, we can make sure that, or we can have in the mind that always cooperation will win at the end, not better yet. So betrayal even it will get uh, uh, more number of uh, in terms of points, but one or another day it should be rejected. But getting one point through uh, as A through cooperation, adding one, 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 and every uh, lifelong this one will be getting added. So that will be success. So the success story of uh, uh, Japan is all because of Japan enterprise is all because of uh, uh, this A and A, I hope so. So with this, uh, we came to the end of the uh, webinar. Uh, participants, if you have any questions, you can even uh, just post your questions in the chat box so that we, it will be taken to the resource person for answering. So participants, we are leaving you for another five minutes for Q&A. Kindly please leave your feedback, uh, sorry, leave your questions in the chat box. Okay. Um, well, after this session, I will, um, I will send my feedback to you by email. Yeah. yeah. Then you can spread my feedback to everybody, please. Yeah, sure. Okay. And I want to ask you one favor. Next time when you try to contact with me, please write letter, not to WhatsApp. Sure, sure. <laughs> Well, arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you very much. Well, um, how uh, Japanese are looking uh, like very active. Hmm. Well, um, I want to ask Dr. Fuoka to make a brief speech, please. Uh, Professor Kato, we have one question like how uh, uh, people of Japan are still um, active? Mm. Mm. Is there anything behind for being active and walking all around? Mm. Well, um, it is, it is generally said Japanese company is like a family. So CEO is your father. And uh, well, um, management uh, board members are like uh, your mother. Uh, well, if you want to start to work for one particular company, this company will become your family. And uh, you are supposed to continue to work for this company until you retire. Do you understand? Lifetime employment. Japanese companies provide lifetime employment for everyone. That sounds good. That sounds good, Professor Kato. Even in India, during this pandemic, when are taking even most of the institution, uh, many professors have been removed because of uh, not running, uh, because the institution was uh, in a closed manner. So during this lockdown, even uh, they attacked uh, the employees out of the company, but uh, it is a nice practice as what Japan is following, a lifetime employment opportunities. As you have rightly said, we, when you are running a company or any of the institution in a family-oriented manner, probably the employees will be also taking the ownership, right? So where they can work more, they can be more active so that at the end, 
the company can reap the success. So I hope uh, that is what Japanese enterprise is very good. And the next question is, Professor, uh, why the Japanese employers and employees are maintaining the higher integrity, honest, and good governance? Integrity. Mm. Well, um, well, this is not to my answer, but um, I want to ask you one question to you. After you retire, what are you going to do? What do you wish to do after you retire? I want to be associated with another institution after my retirement period uh, to give my uh, insights into academics and research part. Oh, good. Well, um, maybe I'll uh, be also applying for certain funds for the Professor Emeritus and I'll be also moving to foreign countries mm -hmm. where I can learn more and I can give, my, uh, give the learning to them. Mm. Well, um, I have studied, I have studied on employment of elderly for last uh, 15 years. From the result of my research, I could find out uh, one thing. Um, many Japanese senior citizens, many, a lot of Japanese senior citizens still have tendency to work hard. Even after they retire, they always look at the chance, opportunity to continue to work, uh, to dedicate themselves to society, sometimes to the companies. Well, mm. uh, nicely right. said, uh, Professor Kato. Uh, and to the professors, uh, most of the professors from India have joined with us uh, uh, in this international webinar. Uh, mm -hmm. Adding to what Professor Kato has said, all the professors in Malaysia, Singapore, uh, Japan, and Indonesia and even South Korea and, uh, and other countries, what they used to do was, then we also associate themselves into an academic part as a professor, associate professor, or assistant professor, whatever it may be, lecturer, or whatever it may be. But even though they be, will be a part of many associations, even then uh, serve as a advisory board or in the, in the director wow. role for many of the companies. So mm. that is where all the uh, this uh, least developed countries are still growing more. This is because of the academic integrity what they're playing, you know, uh, that becomes the success again. But only in India, what we used to do is, we'll, professor will be highly stick on to the academics alone. We'll not go beyond the academics. We'll not uh, look into the, we'll be focusing on the boundaries. Uh, Professor Kato, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Can you uh, as a collaborative part. So Professor Kato is well known for the collaborative research, I can say. So when we start associating ourselves with, uh, with many of the collaborative research work with industries and other institutions, in terms of uh, uh, the space what uh, uh, happened in India is on the world map. It is all about the quantity of what we expose, the quantity of the nations will get developed. So that is what the final observation I hope for. Uh, Professor Kata, there is another question. How would you access Japan's current economic situation? Current technology situation? Well, um, you, might have, you, might, you might have already known that Japanese society is aging society, aging society. 28, 28.6% of total population is senior citizen in Japan. 28.6% of total population is grandma and grandfather. You see, Japan has already become aged society. Well, um, if you have so many uh, senior citizens, you will be suffering from the shortage of the labor. Do, do, do you understand? Well, uh, in Japan, many Japanese companies, many Japanese companies are now 
are suffering from the shortage of labor. So they now spend research and development um, cost for robot technology. Do you understand? Uh, do you hear me? Or the line is dead? Yes, Professor. Uh, oh, I can't hear some part. Uh, question is like uh, one more question we have, which is a very good question. Because we are talking about uh, uh, the long lasting of the companies in Japan, like uh, nearly 3,669 companies uh, were a century right now in Japan. But when you are uh, coming up with the top five companies, mm. uh, in terms of revenue and all those things, you have listed some top five companies. Why is that even a long lasting company can, cannot compete the new companies? Mommy, Copads, all those things are the new new one, new entrance into the market. Why is that an older company can't able to compete with the new one? Is it clear? Is it clear? Uh, no, 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 uh, not clear, Patri. Sorry. Uh, Professor Kato, the question is like, uh, you, we were talking about the long-lasting companies, nearly 3,600 oh. plus companies were there in centuries in Japan. Right. There are very old companies are there. But right. when you are listing the top five companies, you haven't listed the very old companies. You have listed the new entrants into the market. Right, right, right. Why is that? The old company can't able to compete with the new one. Well, I guess if you don't accept the new comma, you can't spread your market. Answer is simple. You cannot, you cannot uh, donate one market. If you want to spread the market, you have to accept new comma. Hmm. Well, um, Well, everybody sometimes talks about dominant company, but dominant company cannot spread. They, they can wide their market. Hmm. Thank you, Professor. Another question is uh, whether the older population is an asset or liability to the economic development. <laughs> well, Japanese current uh, economic growth is very low. Annual, annual economic growth rate is less than 2%. It's very low compared with Indian uh, economic growth, you know. Mm. Final question, Professor Kato. Uh, after post-1992, uh, there was a decline in the economy of Japan. So that uh, Japanese economy was quite declined. So how do you have uh, uh, come across in that situation? And how do you come back after this decline position? Uh -huh. um, nowadays, for example, um, well, even small, even small and medium-sized enterprises in Japan look at foreign markets, you see? Japanese domestic market is now shrinking. So they must look at, well, foreign market, international market, and the stockholder also. Japanese company can get uh, uh, capital money from international investors. For example, Sony, 60, over 60, over 60% 60 of stockholders of Sony Corporation is foreigners. So Sony now 
sell their products all over the world. At the same time, they can get the Sony, get the uh, uh, investment from all over the world. Hmm. Thank you, thank you, Professor. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. I request your participants to kindly give your feedback uh, so that uh, the resource person will be happy. I hope so. Uh, Dr. R. Uma Mageshwari, Associate Professor uh, in the School of Business of STC College, uh, Polachi. Can you please leave your feedback, ma'am? And dear participants, already uh, the attendance and feedback link has been rolled on the chat box. Uh, you can even click on it and you can leave your feedback from there. Over to Dr. R. Uma Mageshwari. Good afternoon, sir. This is Dr. R. Uma Mageshwari from Sri Saraswati Tyagaraja College, Pollachi. I'm working as a professor of management department. And really, it was a wonderful day today. Professor Kato, who has explained about the Japanese enterprises and its society present, past, and future. So it was an excellent eye-opening as well as knowledge updation today what we had. So thanks to the organizers for such a wonderful program. Thank you, sir. Thank you for spending your valuable time with us. Thank you very much. Very nice. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Actually, I have prepared more than 200 slides for today's session. So we have to have, we have to conduct another session. Not today. We have to dig more deeper hold. Yes. I request Dr. K. Rajamanar, sir, an assistant professor in the Department of Commerce of Mananwari Sudana University Terminal Valley, to leave his comment or feedback on the Bodhi session. Rajmanar, sir, you can unmute you and you can talk, sir. Am I supposed to say something? No? Okay, yeah, actually it's some technical issues it seems. Anyone, if you're interested, you can even, uh, uh, just you can uh, raise your uh, hand. There's an icon is there on the uh, thing itself. But so problem. that, uh, yeah, yes, Aravind. Prof. You can unmute and you can talk. Arvind. Can you can you can you hear me, sir? Yes, please. Oh yes. Uh, 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 good afternoon, sir. This is Dr. S. Aravind. I'm associate professor from Dr. Jia Damodaran College of Science. Hmm. It is. It was an excellent session, sir. Impeccable. I'm really I'm really happy. I'm really privileged. I have learned much more things about you. The contemporary thoughts. The strategies the companies have been adapted to the difference between the conventional companies as well as the modern organizations. It is excellent that you have conducted also that activity. Mm. Everything is great, sir. Thank you very much. Pleasure, sir. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Next time, I'm looking forward to meeting you directly in thank India. You, Dr. Aravind, sir. Uh, I request uh, Professor Ariana from Indonesia. Dr. Ariana, you can even unmute you and you can talk. Yes, Madam Dr. M. Charlotte. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, uh, so it was really a very excellent and a fantastic session. Uh, it was a two-way communication. That was the main thing in this uh, webinar, international webinar. You ask questions and you made the viewers to be very active in the during the session. So <laughs> it was very, very uh, nice, well organized. Thank you, organizers. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Professor Sundaraisen, sir. He just voice his hand. So very good, very good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Sir, it was uh, sir, it was really 
uh, scintillating event. It was really informative and a very thought-provoking uh, uh, lecture by Professor Iva Kato, who has uh, kept the momentum throughout the session by keeping all the participants uh, very active, uh, alert in uh, paying due full attention to the program. Highly informative, sir. He has uh, um, given a lot of uh, new insights about the way the Japanese companies are functioning and very interestingly pointed out, out about the rules of success of these companies. And it was really amazing and astonishing to note that there are several lakhs of companies are functioning in the uh, country Japan and uh, there are uh, thousands of companies have completed more than uh, uh, 100 years of its existence, uh, thousand, years, uh, thousand years of its existence. Really very, very happy and highly informative. Thank you very much to the uh, management principal and uh, the uh, organizing uh, professor, Mr. Dilip Kumar, for uh, uh, giving us the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you for the nice feedback. Thank you. I request our uh, principal ma'am for the final note and we'll be moving for uh, uh, the formal vote of thanks. Professor, sir, it's very highly informative and the uh, uh, lecture you have given, you have given a nice presentation, a nice explanation also. We could have imagined the entire picture of the Japanese enterprises from the year of 578. We could have imagined what that, uh, how that Japanese enterprises have been evolved and set an example to the entire world. Of course, we can get an information about the current situation and the, uh, in the newspapers and other things, but we could not get any information from the past. <laughs> So thank you very much. So thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, Dr. Ariana, how are you? Are you able to hear me, Dr. Ariana? Thank you, Professor. Professor, thanks. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Principal, ma'am. Uh, so again, I'm intimating. Uh, so uh, participants who have joined with us today, kindly click on the uh, feedback link, which is already rolled in the chat box, so that it will help us to leave uh, issue the certificate within a week. Thank you, everyone. Uh, is there any other participants from Japan? So a few of the students from uh, oh, Professor Bala, Sir, Professor Bala, some of the questions have been posted in the chat. Okay. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, can I speak something? Can you yes. hear me? You're in the car. Uh, sorry, I, I, first of all, I misunderstand the time. And then I mean for all my students, we have a word, understood. And I really misunderstand. Sorry, Doctor. Uh, suppose 2.30 by 4 o'clock. Then maybe next time you leave, tell me the Malaysian time. All right? So suddenly one of my uh, st uh, staff told me, uh, a student told me, Prof, I already started. So I wasn't driving. So I parked my car on the roadside. I'm now listening. <laughs> okay, first of all, I'd like to thanks to Prokato, my old friend, and also Prof. Mitaka, who is in, also in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the in our room, uh, Dr. Beatrice from Sabah, Dr. Anim, Dr. Ariana, and all my beloved students. I think all of my students also joined this one. Um, in fact, uh, I would like to really thankful to Prokato, who is very, very highly respected, our Sipu and our Guru. <laughs> and you can see Prof, you already completely white hair already. So you are really our Sipu now. <laughs> so, and also I think I would like to thank Dr. Dilip, uh, because uh, uh, Dr. Malal Kodi, because we connected uh, Japan and India, uh, in fact, uh, ASEAN, right? Dr. Ariana also there. So Dr. Kato, we have a lot of uh, collaboration. Even maybe next we go to Australia. <laughs> so, so we are different part of the world, but uh, I think we are we are good friend. I think uh, Prokato, me, and Prof uh, Fumitaka and the gang. Uh, I mean, we did a research on the elderly employment. Uh, maybe we can extend our study in India also. You see how the you know the. Oh, Doctor Dilip. 
thank you very much uh, all the participants so uh, hope you are showing your commitment professor thank you very much okay uh ketika kebijakan tersebut diterapkan dr aryana yes please Uh, very much happy that uh, many people from uh, across the globe participated today in this program. Yes, Dr. Ariana. Well, yeah, uh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Ariana, how are you? <laughs> the session very interesting. To join again. Professor Fumi? Yeah, thank you very much, uh, uh, Professor Kato. Uh, very nice talk, and uh, we learn a lot. Although I myself Japanese, but uh, today's talks are so informative, and I really learn it a lot. Particularly, I really appreciate uh, his uh, very good intention to um, teach, teach us and all the students from India or other participants from Malaysia to Indonesia He, he is a very good teacher. Maybe we understand he is one of the, our best teacher. And we hope to hear more from him. This is maybe the beginning and he can continue part two and part three. And I'm really keen to participate in this. Thank you very much, organizer. Really excellent uh, seminar. We learned a lot of this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Fumi, uh, for the nice comment. Thank you, uh, thank you, for Dr. Ariana. Thank you, Professor Bala, and thank you all the part uh, professors and uh, student, international students in particular. And there is an announcement before the vote of thanks. We have arranged one other program on 28. Uh, I'll circulate in the WhatsApp group also. So uh, this is actually uh, been organized by the Center for uh, uh, Center for Research and Development of Gita Jivan Arts and Science College. So we have another international webinar on use of in vivo in qualitative analysis, tips and tricks to accelerate your research by Dr. Michael Jones from Australia. So probably 28 June by morning 10 a.m. we have this program. So we request participants to also join with us. We'll send the uh, uh, meeting link and everything through the WhatsApp. Thank you all. So I request uh, Dr. T. Sangeeta Sudha, assistant professor in the Department of Commerce, to propose the order of thanks. Over to Dr. T. Sangeeta Sudha. Thank you, sir. It is indeed a great honor and privilege to propose a vote of thanks on this memorable occasion. On behalf of Gita Jivan Arts and Science College, we express our heartfelt gratitude to Professor Iva Katau, Professor, Faculty of Economics and Business, Wako University, Tokyo, Japan, for his valuable rendering on the topics the Japanese enterprises and society in today's international webinar. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you, sir, for the sharing the most wonderful ideas with us today. Uh, we would take this opportunity to express our uh, gratefulness to our re respected secretary, Mr. B. Uh, Jeevan Jacob, sir, who gave permission to hold this uh, event today. Thank you, sir, for the opportunity given. We would uh, like to express our cordial gratitude to our principal, Dr. S. Malarkudi, madam, uh, for her continuous motivational towards organizing this uh, webinar. Thank you, madam. Uh, we would like to thank our IPSC coordinator, Mr. M. Diliban Kumar, sir, head and assistant professor of business administration and uh, uh, the convener of today's webinar for his uh, uh, persistent effort to uh, make this webinar a successful one. Thank you, sir. We would like to thank our organizing secretary and uh, co-organizing secretary of today's webinar, assistant professor, Mrs. Uh, G. Danlashan, ma'am, and Ms. Suganya, ma'am. Uh, they have been uh, constantly helping us uh, Uh, as in making this webinar a grand success. Thank you both. Uh, at this uh, juncture, we would also like to thank the international particip uh, participants, both professors and students from Japan and uh, Malaysia, Indonesia and South Korea. Thank you, professors. Uh, last but not least, I would also thank all the other professors, both from our own institutions, well as from outside institutions and uh, scholars, students, friends for active participation in this program. With all the supports we made, uh, made this program and grand success. Thank you once again. Thank you all. God bless you. Thank you, Dr. T. Sangeeta Sudha. Arigmata Gosamezu, Professor Kato, for spending a valuable time with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. So thank you, uh, Principal Ma'am. Thank you, Professor Fumi. Thank you, Professor Bala. Thank you, Professor Ariana and other professors from uh, many countries have joined with us today. Thank you all. So hopefully we'll be 
having one more uh, international webinar on 28th uh, uh, from uh, professor michael uh, jones from australia so we'll meet on that day so if anything come, comes in between uh, uh, this 28th june we'll send you across the whatsapp so that you can uh, stay tuned in the whatsapp and you can get connected with us and can uh, share the academic experiences from other countries also thank you all thank you thank you professor thank you thank you professor kato the man of simplicity and humbleness again yeah you, you have to unmute your nandri nandri you learn tamil you learn tamil <laughs> <laughs> yes thank you thank you sir <clears throat> thank, thank you for your so thank you very much thank you thank you thanks thank you uh, professor uh, kato if possible you need to uh, uh, we need to go with one more webinar on collaborative research you have done many of the collaborative research with the, uh, most of the leading associations in japan so if time permits we'll plan that also professor in the coming days yeah thank you thank you professor thank, thank you all you. we'll end this meeting thank you thank, thank you. you thank you thank you thank you thank you bye bye thank you professor thank you to abala Thank you very much. Bye bye. And special thank you to Madam Hana Kattu uh, also. I hope uh, she is helping out. Wow, well, lunch time must be coming. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. -bye. <laughs> okay. Bye.